Hello everyone, this is Oboy and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to style the text with gradient color in Elementor Pro. On the left hand side of the screen you can see the text without a gradient being applied, while the right hand side demonstrates the final goal. It has to be pointed out that all of the text widgets used here are the heading widgets. First of all, I have to turn the right hand side column text back to initial state so I can show you what exactly it takes to achieve that nice effect. An easiest way to do that is to simply copy paste the initial text styles. Gradient text involves a little bit of custom CSS code, that's why we're gonna need the custom CSS panel. The very first step is to define a proper CSS selector. We can do that by using selector based on a heading widget child element name, which is Elementor Heading Title. This is the text wrapping element that we need to target. Our CSS rule will have a couple of properties background image and background clip property. Let's define the background image whose value is going to be the gradient color instead of the image. For that very purpose I'll go to Colorspace website, generate my gradient by using two colors, then simply copy paste entire background image property. Once you are satisfied with the result, hit the generate button, highlight the CSS code, copy, get back to Elementor, and finally paste. The next property is the background clip property that has to be set to text. Unfortunately, not all modern browsers quote unquote understand that property without a prefix. That's why the fallback case property has to be added as well. If you wonder why the gradient color doesn't look right yet, it's because we have to make the text color transparent and this is going to be the last step required in styling the text with gradient colors. From now on, I can simply copy paste the rule that I have created if I want to apply the same effect on other heading widgets too. For a case I want a different gradient color to be applied, I'll go back to Colorspace website, generate different gradient and simply copy paste as a background image property. There's also a nice little trick that I want to pay your attention to. If you didn't know, the text color opacity affects the intensity of gradient applied on text. So in that manner, if the white color is used for text, you can lighten the gradient colors up. However, if you change the text color to black, gradient colors can easily become darker. And finally, if you select any other color but black or white, you can even make a blend of colors for a completely different result. Now, how about changing the orientation of gradient colors? Let's get back to the custom CSS panel for a while. The very first argument in our gradient definition is to right top. It means that two colors blend with each other in the ascending fashion starting from the bottom left corner. This is pretty much close to 45 degrees angle. So instead of to top right, I can use 45 DEG, which is also semantically correct. And the point is that by changing the value of angle degrees, you can change the gradient orientation. As simple and straightforward as that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and above anything else, I hope you found it useful. Goodbye, thanks for watching.